Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I am here with two excellent pianos here. This is the Nord Stage 4 that I have in front of me, and behind that I have the Nord Piano 5. Now, when it comes to choosing between the Nord Stage series and the Nord Piano series, it's a difficult decision if you're a pianist. So I was faced with this decision before the Nord Stage 4 came out, a lot when, when they had the Nord Stage 3. When they had Nord Stage 3, I chose the Nord Piano 5 over the Stage 3. And here is the reason why. The Nord Piano 5 had dual piano engines. It was basically a piano on steroids. Oh man, it could do so much stuff. And as I've showed in previous videos, I'll show that again here. I've got a choice of two pianos that I can play either by itself or together. I mean, there's a lot more than two pianos from, to choose from, but Nord has some of the best piano sounds in the entire industry. And that's what I love about Nord so much. It's really hard to beat the piano sounds from Nord. So with the Piano 5, and if you've watched the video that I did on the Piano 5, I think it was called uh, Nord Piano on Steroids or something like that. I'll put a link in the description so you can follow that. But basically, since I have two pianos, what I did is I put the white grand on one of the selections, that's selection A, and the white grand is actually a Steinway B, which is a really, really good piano sound. And on the um, B selection, I put the Grand Imperial from Bosendorfer, the Grand Imperial 290. So I could play either one of those at the switch of a button, or I could actually have a blend between the two. And it was so cool because the two of those sounded so good and that's what I used and everybody in any video that I did was instantly like whoa what kind of piano are you playing there I've never heard anything like that well yeah because it's a it's a cross between two of the best pianos in the world uh, and now I can do the same thing with the Nord Stage 4 and the other difference between the two is the Nord Piano 5 had triple sensor technology. The Nord Stage 4 now also has triple sensor technology. How cool is that? And it's done in such a way that when you go to the organs, you can actually play an organ without feeling that you're playing a piano. Because the feeling on the keys are two very different things. I chose, like I said, I chose the Nord Piano 5 over the Nord Stage 3. And I had a number of reasons to do that. Triple sensor technology, dual pianos, and all kinds of stuff that I could do with the pianos over what the Nord Stage 3 was capable of. I really liked that. I missed the organ section in the Nord Piano 5. Yeah, I do some organ, but it would have been really nice to have that. Um... And then there's the synth section, the sample playback and synth. While the Nord Piano series is not a synthesizer, it does have a Nord playback or sample playback. And in the same section, they call it a synth because you have control of the envelope. Basically, an attack, a decay, sustain, release, that kind of stuff. Well, the Nord Stage 4 came out. And... It does everything the Piano 5 does and more. <laughs> and that's why I made the decision to sell my Nord Piano 5 and go with the Nord Stage 4. And I will not look back on that. So let's explore exactly why I did that. First of all, I like the Piano 5 because it had triple sensor technology. The Nord Stage 3 didn't. But since the Nord Stage 4 came out, now it has that. All right, so now that's not a non-issue. But let me tell you about the keyboard. In the Nord Piano 5, they're using the Fatar TP40HH, standing for heavy. 
in the Nord Stage 4, they're using the TP40M, M standing for medium. You won't notice much of a difference between the two when you go from one to the other, but it makes a difference when you're playing stuff like organ or synthesizer. So they made a very wise decision to go with the M series. Really cool. And the M also has aftertouch. And unlike the previous stage series where you had basically, you had an organ, you had a piano, you had a synth. If you wanted another one, you had to go to a different panel. <laughs> Not anymore. With the Nord Stage 4, now you've got two pianos and you've got two different faders along with the LED tower so you can see exactly where you are at. You've got three, not two or one, but three different synth or playback stuff here where you've got access to three faders that are controlling three different instruments or three different synths or any combination thereof. Then you've got the organ. Two different organs you can choose at the same time, whether it's the same and you alter one or you choose two different ones all together. All right. But now both the Nord Piano 5 and the Nord Stage 4 fully weighted, triple sensor action, which is so cool. And the Nord Stage 4 now has aftertouch as well. That's where you're playing something and once, you're whole, once you played it, you can press harder to get the effect that, whatever effect you associate with that, uh, with that aftertouch. You know, a lot to choose from. Now, in the Nord Piano 5, one volume control for both pianos. Now, you can switch from piano A to piano B, and, you know, it's going to be a separate, it's going to be the volume for A or the volume for B. But you can't really tell what they are just by looking at it without switching. One might be higher volume, might, one might be lower volume. With the Nord Stage 4, since you have two different faders or sliders, whatever you want to call it, and two different LED towers, you can see exactly where you're at. So right now, let me just go through something here. This is the white grand on the Nord Stage 4. And here's the same thing on the Nord Piano 5. Okay, now let's go to the Bosendorfer Imperial 290 on each, and you'll notice on the Nord Piano 5, the LED went from layer A to layer B, so we can tell that we're choosing layer B. And that's also indicated in the LED display screen. It's showing the Grand Imperial. Same thing over here. We're using the second one, B, to do the Grand Imperial. So let's do the same thing with the Grand Imperial. And the same thing on the Piano 5. Now, here's the cool thing. We're going to go and do a blend of both on each of these. So we've got a blend of the Grand Imperial Bosendorfer, and we got a blend of the white piano, which is the Steinway B. How cool is that? You have the same thing on each. So that is so cool. Now with the Nord Piano 5, just like the other Nord Stage series, you have 10 different split points to choose from. The Nord Stage 4 added another, so now you have 11 to choose from. It makes a big difference. You don't think it is, but, you know, it's just one. It does make a difference. And the reason they have, well, I don't know if that's the reason, but what I like about having different preset split points is they have an LED that lights up wherever the split point you chose is at. And that makes it so cool, especially if you're in a dark venue, you know exactly where one split ends and the other begins. 
And of course, like unlike any other, they also have crossfades. So that when you go from one split point, let's say you've got a piano on the bottom, or no, no, let's say you've got a bass on the bottom and a piano on top of the split point, instead of going through the bass and then abruptly going to the piano, they have a crossfade where you can specify, say, an octave or so where they blend together and they slowly go through that transposition from one to the other. It really makes a big difference. You might want to check out some of my other videos on that for a more detailed explanation. Now again, on the piano section, and when you're going with the Nord Piano 5, you've got one volume control for each piano. You can choose A or B, but the volume control is going to be specific to A or B, whichever has the focus. You can't use that volume control and raise both at the same time. Unlike the Nord Stage 4, we have two different sliders here for each. You can tell exactly where each one is just by looking at it. You can raise the volume for each just by going up or down. And granted, both of these have a master volume, so that the master volume raises everything. Not just the pianos, but on the Piano 5, it would be the piano and the sample synth section, as well as on the four, it would be not just the pianos, but the organ and also the sample and synth section as well. What they have in common, they both have the ability to choose from layer A, B, or both. They both have keyboard splits, uh, keyboard zone on the NS4. They both have sustained pedal control for each. NS4 also has control for the pitch stick, which you don't have on the Piano 5. Both have piano touch control for light, medium, heavy. And those are per piano. So you can have a heavy touch on one, a uh, lighter one on the other. They both have a detune, and it's called a layer detune on the Nord Piano 5 unison on the Nord Stage 4, and you can see that in detail in my videos that covered each one respectively. They both have soft release, string resonance, and pedal noise, which is really cool. They both have timbre control, bright, mid, soft, Dino 1 and Dino 2. Dino 1 and Dino 2 is basically for electric piano. So yes, both of these in the piano section, it's not just piano, you've got Grands, uprights, electrics, clavs, and digital pianos, and miscellaneous. So, yeah, while it's just labeled piano, you have a lot more than just piano. Now, the NS4, which just came out, additionally has dynamic compression, and they have three different flavors of that. And unlike regular compression, it's a little bit more specific to the piano, so you can fine-tune the compression. And where you would use that is basically, if you're playing something in the middle, everything comes out cool. You're playing in the bottom or the top, it's a little bit lighter. You can balance that out with the dynamic compression to make it all the same volume. That way you stand out in a mix no matter how you're playing it. Very, very cool. And with the Nord Stage 4, you also have the ability to assign piano A or B to a different controller keyboard. So if you're playing one piano and you want to do a duet with another pianist, you just hook it up and choose aux keyboard B. So the piano has aux keyboard A, aux keyboard B, whatever you pick. It's going to go through MIDI to whatever controller it's hooked up to, and they can play along with you. And that goes for all the sections, organ and synth. Each one of these faders, this one, this one for the organ, two of them, two for the piano, three for the synth, that's seven. Each one of those can be signed to their own keyboard. How cool is that? Their own external keyboard. Now, the big thing is, with the Nord Piano 5, the effects are pretty much like you'd expect, but when you come to the Nord Stage 4, the effects are totally different because each piano, or each organ, or each synth, let's just stick with the pianos because that's what we're covering, each one of these can have their own separate effects 
separate from what the other one is. How cool is that? That is so different than the Piano 5, because the Piano 5, if you're going to turn on reverb, you can, return, you can turn that on for A or B or both. But you can't have a separate reverb for A or B. You can do that with the North Stage 4, and the same holds true for every single effect that's available. Now, the effect categories are the same for each. You've got the uh, stomp box effects for Mod 1, Mod 2, the amp and compressor, the equalizer, delay, and reverb. Well, you've got the same categories on the North Stage 4, but you have a lot more control over those. With the layer effects on the 4, yeah, you've got the same Mod 1 and Mod 2. you got the Amp Simulator and the EQ. And you also have the Delay, and you have the Compressor and Reverb, and a lot more. Each one of those has a new button assigned to it, Variation. So whatever you've chosen, you can hit Variation and get something a little bit different. Related, but different. You don't have that on the Nord Piano 5. You also have new things like a pump effect, a spin effect. You've got uh, uh, hall and cathedral and spring. Spring is another type of reverb that you don't have on the Nord Piano 5. And other things that are just too numerous to mention. And on the Nord Piano 5, while it says sample slash synth or sample synth player, it's basically a sample player. The reason they call that synth is you've got the attack envelope that you can alter the attack, to decay, sustain, release, but it's really not a synth. This Nord Stage 4 truly is a synth as well as a sample playback. But basically, I just wanted to cover which is um, different. Also in the Nord Stage 4, the sample synth player is so different and so much control that you have over each that they have its own LCD or LED screen for that. How cool is that? So basically, whichever way you go with the Nord Piano 5 or the Nord Stage 4, you're going to have an instrument that has some of the best pianos out there on the market. And you also have a solid, built-like-a-tank case on each. It's metal and wood sides. This is not going to be taken lightly if it bumps into a wall or anything like that. This will protect you. And again, as far as the organ, you've got a true drawbar organ here, a pipe organ, everything. you got a lot of stuff here in the organ on the Nord Stage 4. On the Nord Piano 5... If you also want to do organ, I would not recommend the Nord Piano 5. It doesn't have draw bars. It doesn't have a pipe organ. It's very, very basic organ that you really don't have much control of. And yeah, on the Nord website, they have an area where you can download sounds that people have come up with so that you can have your own kind of organ but nothing like this. I don't even want to get into the differences between if you download a really cool sounding organ as opposed to this one where you have all kinds of things that you can use to alter that sound with. Uh, example, you got the, the percussion part, the volume, the soft, the decay, or fast, or harmonic, or thirds as well as the distortion and all that, the Leslie control, faster, so everything. So, yes, in the past, because I am a pianist, I chose the Nord Piano 5 over the Nord Stage 3. But since the Nord Stage 4 has come out, completely different game. This is a definite game changer. And I've already bought the Nord Stage 4, and it's worth it. Of all the keyboards I have ever bought in my entire life, I think the Nord Stage 4 is probably my best investment. And really, it, it is you get so much for your money. And I know these are expensive. They don't come cheap. But it is so well worth it. Anyway, I just wanted to come across with the differences between the two so that you know and you can make a more informed decision as to whether you want to go with the Stage Series 
or the Piano Series. And again, the Piano 5 is excellent, but the Nord Stage 4 does everything the Piano 5 does and more. <laughs> That's what I like about it. And besides that, I've got the organ section and the synth section. It was a no-brainer for me. Nord Stage 4 for me all the way. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.